Hello, and welcome to the City Geese podcast. <laughs> Fucking hell. That took way too long to start. Um, no. I, don't know how to, I don't know, I've forgotten how to do these. How is 2022 going for the two of yous? Grand. Okay. I got triple vaxxed. Triple Let's vaxxed. go. Let's go. Thomas, you are you getting your booster? Do you think? Um, I should be, but like, uh, I will. Okay. <laughs> don't I, know when. I can't. Well, well. I can't until I don't know when I'm able to get mine. Three months. Three months. Oh, le- fucking hell. Um, but yeah, three months. When's that then? April. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good. Uh, no, actually, never mind, never mind. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, no, I'll, I'll end up getting mine. But, like, natural vaxxed all the way. <laughs> <laughs> I actually caught COVID on purpose to vaccinate myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I wasn't, I, I'm not good with needles, so I just said, I forgot to get it. Do, are you not good with needles? Or are you no, just I'm dead. Is that me? I'm just. I'm deadly with needles as well. I'm okay with needles. I'm as long great. As I don't look. You should see me. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise that's what you meant. No, I'm, I'm good with needles as well. Neve knitting is now canon on the silly geese. <laughs> I forgot you didn't it. Do you still knit? Uh, I took a break. It was getting to me. The stress, the pressure was getting to you. Honest to God, knitting is so stressful. I thought you used to do it to de-stress. Oh, uh, and then you. Much <laughs> That's because you start making like stuff for people. Yeah, but I like doing that. Yeah, but you also started to give yourself like deadlines on that, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> so I can see why it would have gotten to you. Hmm. Um, too much of a, a procrastinator to do that. Too much of a pro at procrastinating. Just do it tomorrow. <laughs> oh, that's me looking at all the schoolwork I have to catch up on. I keep saying that. That's me just whenever I do things. Yeah, true. Same. Oh, I have to. Um, I have to procrastinate. I'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> But um, yeah, I'm glad to hear 2022 is going well for you. Just for everyone who may have been wondering, it's currently the 15th. So this comes out tomorrow. And I've done nothing <laughs> since New Year's started. I haven't even come up with it. Wait, what, Eve? I'm telling you something. We have a day off on Monday. <sighs> I forgot about that. I forgot about it. I'll do all my, I'll do all my schoolwork then. <laughs> going into town on that Monday. What, in a haircut. You can come around mine. No, I don't mind. I'm with a few friends. Maybe. We'll go to the pitch. Since when? <laughs> Since when? I wasn't invited to this. Is this because I'm your work <laughs> colleague and not your friend? <laughs> I'm your boss. <laughs> uh, I'm the boss. Thomas! Thomas, you're going to get fired if you keep that up. <laughs> Jordan is the boss man. Nah. Boss man. Am I... Yeah. I'm Thomas the boss last name, right? That's the boss last name. I'm the manager, right? Ask anybody. They'll say I'm the manager. Neve, are you the ma- is Thomas the manager? Neve, because no. you two are biased towards it. You two don't see it, right? <laughs> you guys just owe me some respect here. <laughs> anyway. Um... Or there'll be replacements. We should probably get on to Except the you, 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 We can't replace you, Jordan. We can't you replace can't you. Me. I am. Um... The diversity. I am the diversity. No, you're not. <laughs> you're the only one that's bothered to make TikToks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll find some random guy to do it. We'll hire him. Hire him. We'll pay him. Exactly. <laughs> he was like, damn it, I don't get paid for this. <laughs> Wait, you guys are getting paid. <laughs> Are you guys getting paid? Haha, <laughs> I get it. Because that, yeah, I'm okay. Anyway. <laughs> Continue. Um, I think we should start with a bit of news. 
All right, I'll do. I'll go first because I'm probably going to be quicker. All right. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm going next. Uh, God of War has come to PC. It has. It's apparently very good on PC. Better uh, on PlayStation. Right. No, no, not better. No, PC is it's better on PC than PlayStation. That's what I meant. I'm just stupid. Thomas, you've been looking at a PC lately. Mm. Any any it, progress on that? No. Okay. Yesterday was all the progress. Okay. Continue. Uh, another thing. Uh, voice actor. Um, I think Troy Br- Baker. I think. I don't know. Uh, the voice of Joel. I think. Joel from what? The Last of Us. Yes. You didn't say that. You just said Troy Baker. There are not many played... video game characters <laughs> called Joel, though. Oh, yeah. me, man. But, like, you didn't say anything about video games. You just said voice actor. Voice actor, The Last of Us, Joel. Okay, thank you. Yes, we need I detail. did clarify those things. Jess, and for some reason, give more detail in your names. It is so. Troy Breaker. Okay, yeah. Uh, he, NFT is voice or something like that. Yeah, I just read that myself. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I literally just read that. That's weird as fuck. It's not him that's doing it. It's the company that he works for that's doing it. That's weird. How do you NFT? Anyway. <laughs> How do you NFT? How do you NFT? Go? That's a good question. <laughs> NFT or like... No. Did you see that video of Tobin Maguire <laughs> getting uh, an NFT and just not knowing what it is? He gets no. gifted an NFT and he just stands in front of it and he's like, wow. And he's just stood there like, what do I, what the fuck is this? <laughs> he, just, he literally walks into the room and he's like, wow. And just like doesn't know how to react. So he just kind of walks up to it as if he's like proud of it. Wow, this is I, something that's... My NFT. This is, this is great, guys. It's like, it's like when you get a present off someone at Christmas and you don't know how to react. You have to do that. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll use this. Links I, Africa. I, Links I, Africa. <laughs> no one's ever given this in the history of Christmas. Links Africa. <laughs> Body wash. Wow. The fucking another tin like dope. I don't even know. What uh, one of them travel bags that I'm just gonna throw out. <laughs> oh my god! You got me more deodorant. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Good to know I smell bad. It cunt. I've had the same can of deodorant for two years. And oh. I'm still using it. Nah, I used a roll-on ones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? I'm, I used a roll-on ones because I'm deadly. I thought you were sick because I'm a lady. Thomas, you need them. <laughs> There's a reason you have two. <laughs> <laughs> One, one for each arm. arm. Yeah, yeah, one for each arm, so he doesn't waste them too quickly. <laughs> he just like this. Oh, I sprayed them. <laughs> the, the... Oh, God. <laughs> Thomas, continue. <laughs> continue with your news. That's all. That's all. Jesus. Yeah, not, this not, week. not a busy week. Leave Atten, Atten this week. Oh. It's not much, but the first thing, fuck me. The Foo Fighters are releasing a horror movie. Explain this to me. (laughs) The plot is, they're making their 10th album, which is a real thing, their 10th album is coming out this year. Uh, Uh But the thing is, David Grohl has absolutely no ambition to, not no ambition, he just can't. He's a bit of writer's block. So they decide, we'll go to a haunted a haunted mansion and we'll write this. And we'll write it good. But then David Grohl gets possessed by a demon. He wasn't a killing spree. And his owner, his fellow bandmates, have to basically stop him. It's called Studio 666. And it's coming out 25th of February, 2022. Wow. 
Now yeah. That is just something. I was the entire time. Thomas, you didn't need to. <laughs> <laughs> Neither were any of the listeners. <laughs> that actually sounds it's brilliant, so- though. It sounds so funny. Honestly, I think David Grohl would have said, fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Yeah, fuck the fuck. I love David Grohl. That's brilliant. Anyway, do you have anything else? Um, Bob's Burger, Burgers movie being released on May 27, 2022. I didn't really get time to research it because I saw it quickly and I was like, wait. I heard about yeah. that. I didn't hear anything about it though, other than it's coming out. Better watch Bob's Burgers. Is there a Bob's Burgers movie already? There is, I think. I don't know. I don't watch it. There's probably like an hour long episode. That's about it. We could probably watch like a Bob's Burgers episode if we wanted to, or like probably not the whole. Just watch season. all Bob's Burgers and just yeah, Bob's, Bob's Burgers. Burger. Uh, one minute of every season of Bob's Burgers until the new movie. Jesus no. <laughs> as much as it's probably good, I don't want to do that. Uh, no, there's not a movie already. Yeah, kind of and then in other news. Moon Knight's trailer is going to be released Monday, 17th of January, 2022, during the NFL Super Wildcard ma- matchup. Are ah. they? It is releasing, yeah? Or is that like yep. a theory? That's going to be exciting. No, it's been all over like social media today. I have and no they've put. And you kind of get to see more of the suit. I can't wait to see the suit. Can't wait for Oscar Isaac. Can't wait to see Oscar Isaac and his big dumb comic book suit. Yeah, but that, that, that's it for movie news. That's all I could find. Fair enough. And when I mean I mean in the last hour. Um, yeah, I can't really think of anything myself that's happened yeah, like in terms of either of those things. Other than that, I think there was a new GTA update. Like another one that just added in a couple extra things, but that was it. Um, I guess we should start talking about this movie then. Nice. Toy Story 2, 1999. So this. Oh, wait, never mind. What? I, no, never mind. Okay. I was gonna make. I was gonna ask a really dumb question. Um, Come on. No, I figured out the answer already. That's how bad it was. No, I was gonna um, ask if this was pre or post 9 11. <laughs> then I was like, 9 11 didn't happen in 1999. 2001. 2001. Never forget. Two years. Two years. Thomas, I get so just like. <laughs> this is post 9 11. Or no, this is pre 9 11, sorry. Um, but yeah, uh, I like this movie. I liked this movie a lot more than I thought I did. Yeah. Pretty solid. But I don't know why I like this movie so much. Easy. I think it's because yeah. I think it's because it takes place in more than two locations. Well, I guess the first one takes place in three. But you know what I mean? Like the first one is just like Andy's house, Sid's house, Pizza Planet. The boys go. Uh, what? <laughs> The boys go for an adventure. Mr. Potato Head, Slinky, like slinky Buzz, Ham and Buzz. I think that's what's so funny about it. It's because that <laughs> on its own is a good concept. And then they also like, they also turn it into it's Zerg and there's another Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. Uh, I also just like the Woody's the Woody's Roundup thing. Yeah. Woody's Roundup. The Woody's Roundup song is going into my favourites on Spotify. Because that is such a bop. Um, Woody's version You Got a Friend of Me as well? Ooh. No. Oh, well, Woody's <laughs> version, yeah. The original version, no. No, the original is so good. The original good. is not that good. The squeaky yeah. version at the end of this movie is better than the original. <laughs> I'm not even joking. That's a fact. Right. Um, opening. Very good. What's the opening again? Oh, it's space. The space. It's the game, yeah. Yeah. 
it, I thought it was just Andy playing with Buzz, but no, dinosaur playing with it's, uh, it's video Rex game. Playing. I really like that. Like that whole that whole thing is just fun. There was yeah. a Toy Story video game, and I think it. I think it's that. Like I think you actually do get to play the like that mission, but I don't know. I know there's a fucking song in it called Andy's uh and Andy's bedroom and it's apparently really annoying. Um but no anyway, I, uh, uh what's that sorry Thomas? No. Okay. Um What happens after the opening though? Like after the video game part? Uh Rex gets mad. Um Woody's oh, arm Woody's arm what... rips. He's looking for his hat. Yeah. He's like, where's my hat? Like, I don't know. They have a very full, committed relationship. Mm. Um, the ho- I love that, like, that thing where they're playing, and it's like, Woody and Buzz, best friends, and then his arm rips. And I love how he's <laughs> like, oh, his arm ripped, and his mom's like, well, leave him there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like, ah, like, you'll br- he- you won't rip anymore if you bring him. It's like, well, I don't know. Can't bring him to camp. Can't bring him to camp, I suppose. Um, That's fucking days. And then he gets fucking shelved. Oh. Shelved up on the shelf. And Slinky's there. And Slinky's like, Andy's mom, she's a bit of a bitch. She put me up here <laughs> and lied to him. And all you it's down there didn't the notice. Place. And Woody's like, I'm, I had no idea. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um and then Slinky gets man's up and taken again. Dust. Yeah, man is man is on his last legs up there. <laughs> um, but he what he or no Slinky gets absolutely taken off the shelf then and put into a box and he's off down into the yard sale and everyone's like, oh no, this yeah, is and he's just like, hey, Woody, <laughs> well time for me to go. <laughs> why can why can the toys communicate with the dog? Because the dog's deadly. But why can't no, Andy the... communicate with the dog? No, because they pretend that they're not alive when Andy's around. We literally no, no, saw no, this happen. No, 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 no. Why can the dog not communicate with Andy, but the dog can communicate with the toys? What do you mean? No, the dog just wasn't. Like, he doesn't respect like... Andy. Yeah. Why? But why doesn't he respect Andy? That's why does he respect <laughs> Sheriff Woody, small toy, but he doesn't respect. Like... Andy, yeah. small boy. Sheriff Woody. Oh, you have me there. Yeah. You also, have, you have Andy me. didn't say the touch phrase to get the dog to do it. What did he say? Woody said, reach for the skies. Oh, the dog... he says, stick him up. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> didn't mean to start an argument, lads. Come on. And I love how all the toys, uh, once, you know, Woody, like, escapes and tries to save Squeak, the toys don't really help him. They're just like, oh, he's committing suicide. They're like, why is he going to the yard sale? I guess we'll watch. <laughs> yeah. And then <laughs> Woody goes into the 25 cent store. Ah, Woody, you're worth more you're than, worth that. More than that. God. God damn it. Hey, you're and then he pulls yourself. out Slink and then they're like, oh my God, it's Slinky. Oh, it's a rescue mission. And then they're like, "What's that bitch doing?" When Al or no, when the girl comes over. Yeah. <laughs> then Rex is just like, "Oh, it's not a suicide attempt. <laughs> it's a rescue mission." So, how many times does this say suicide in this movie? Is it twice? Three. Three. Yeah. Something like that. I'd say three. Do it. Then that stupid bitch comes around. And mommy, then... mommy, the cowboy. Get fucked. <laughs> Get get <laughs> absolutely <laughs> fucked. Just take the L, right? Yeah. Andy's mom should have taken it off her and done that. L, take the L and then left. But uh, then big Al, big Al. Okay. Comes in. But Al comes in. He's like, I've been a good boy this year. <laughs> Twiddling his fingers. Oh my god! Oh, if only he had his hat. He has to... Oh, Why is the hat out there? That's what I've, I don't understand about this movie. Why is the hat in the box if Woody didn't have his hat? No, they found the hat. Oh, right. They found the hat. What is hat? Oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. That's how Bo Peep enters the scene. She's oh, like, Woody, I found the fucking hat. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no, it's Slinky. Sorry. Yeah. 
Woody, and then Slinky and your that's how they introduce the dogs. <laughs> and then Slinky's just like, Yep, that's the bad news. Well, then, Bo Peep wants it. He, she wants it less in this film. She's a lot less horny. She, but she just says one more definition. <laughs> yeah. beat around the bush. She's, she doesn't beat around the bush at all in this movie. <laughs> but she's also not in this movie, like, at all. And, and then also, she's not well, in the next one. <laughs> also, like, she. One boy. <laughs> She also doesn't want it from everybody. She just wants it from Woody. They're now... <laughs> They've made her a three-dimensional character now. <laughs> now she actually just wants Woody, which is which is good. I love how he, Woody's like, not when Buzz is around, she's like, let him watch. It's like, this is weird. This is very... I love, Buzz's, I love Buzz's face when he when she kisses him and she's like, give that to Woody. And he's like, oh, uh, I think it would be uh, better from you, actually. Uh... <laughs> I love imagining what's his name the voice is Tim Allen I love imagining Tim Allen getting into character for Buzz Lightyear I love imagining him sitting in front of sitting in front of his microphone he's like uh, Buzz Lightyear I <laughs> smart, I like the fucking bald the purple ball cap <laughs> swings it over and he's like oh, I'm Tim Allen I mean Buzz Lightyear <laughs> It's so funny to me, just imagining like Tim Allen, the Santa Claus, saying these <laughs> saying these words. Um, but like, just everything he says, I just imagining like Tim Allen. If this was a live action movie and Tim Allen was saying it instead of Buzz Lightyear, I think I'd find it the funniest thing. Because it's just Tim Allen saying random words. I want. Uh, live action version of Toy Story, but all the original actors just play themselves. Yeah. Actually, one of them is dead. Who? <laughs> one of them is dead. I think Mr. Potato Head is dead. Oh. But he's in four. They reused his voice in three and four. Oh. <sighs> well, they did that for Doc Hudson <laughs> as well. Oh, uh, we love Doc. Doc Hudson in the oh, third oh. movie, there's some like flashbacks. And they're all deleted scenes from the first movie. Why didn't they do that for the second Cars movie? Don't get me started on Cars 2. We're not going to talk about Cars 2. We're talking about Toy Story 2. Toy Story right, 2 right. is very good. Uh, yeah, just the whole Darth Vader thing. Like yeah. Star Wars reference is the funniest thing. Because it's yeah. so weird. Before <laughs> we move on, so good. Before we move on from Cars, Big Al drives... One of the cars from Cars. Yeah, he drives Flow, or it's similar enough to Flow. Yeah. But uh, anyway, uh, Big Al, he geeked the fuck out with Woody. It's ah, so, Woody! Oh, it's a, it's a Woody, and he has the hand painted face. And if only he had his polyvinyl, what's a poly, polyvinyl hat or something? <laughs> he, has a, he has a hat! Oh, I've been a good boy! <laughs> And then he tries to hide it in a bunch of junk. How much for all this stuff? He's like, five dollars. And she's like, no. I, you're a pro, I see. <laughs> I think that's why there's like a theory. I don't know if it's a theory, but the guy who like was head of uh, Pixar at the time, he had an idea for Woody that Woody was Andy's dad's toy. And that's why yeah. there's only one Woody or something like that. And Andy's dad died and gave it to Woody with a key. And then that was going to be in one of the movies, and it didn't happen. That would make more sense. I do believe that came from like an older yeah. something. Andy just didn't get it fucking off the. Yeah, he didn't get it off the shelf. Yeah, and I think uh, what's the word? Especially since okay. there's the theory about his mom owning Jesse. Yeah. Oh my god, his mom and dad bonded over Woody's roundup. How adorable. How cute. They were both like, I want to know what happens in that last episode. And then Big Al was their friend, but he was like the prospector. He was a prick. He was always locked inside. He was the prick you were friends with, but he would never hang out with you outside of school because he was he was housebound the whole time. Uh, um, Thomas, you wouldn't. Not too many. Yeah. yeah. Um, Oh, sorry. I that makes me think. You know uh, when that TV thing when Woody's like singing the campfire of the oak. Yeah. That kid that comes up to him. Yeah. 
Yeah. They probably gave him a, a limited uh, fucking woody yoke. Just like, here you go. Thanks for being in our commercial. <laughs> but anyway, we're we're going off topic. We're just talking about how Al just absolutely was trying to haggle his way. But, but Andy's mom was having none of it. Not for sale. She locks that sucker up. She's just like, nah, that's Andy's. Then my man proceeds to break the law. And he brings the skateboard and fucking sends it. Yeah. Then he fucking picks the lock, takes it, and all the Rex says, he can't do that. That's illegal. <laughs> I love Rex. Who voices Rex? I don't know. No, I think I do know, but I can't think of his name. All right. Anyway, what he did was illegal. Rex was right. Then Buzz. Oh, now I should come into action. <laughs> no, I they, they thought Woody had he. They thought Woody was in control. <laughs> they trusted their sheriff, Thomas. And then I, Woody got absolutely I, punted. But then Buzz. <laughs> oh no! Now I have to do something. Let's go. He gets the Buzz. squad together. Him and the boys. Yeah. No, and then he tries to get in the car, but then the speed bump fucks him up. Oh yeah. Uh, and then he it assembles the, he, he assembles the Avengers of toys. Yeah, and they're like, we're going to look on the telly for Big Al. And fucking, you know, Rex is going there at, like, quarter pace. Just fucking boop, boop, boop. Yeah. Then Ham is off. Ham is and a just like, runner. <laughs> I love how he's like, Matt, we've gone past it. We're in the 40s now. We have to go around. I love Ham. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, uh, then... Then you know the squad. The squad goes. Squad goes. But not before Mr. And Potato gets packed by his l- loving wife. I love the <laughs> like scenes at the end. The like yeah. takes, and she just keeps going. <laughs> it's so good. Progressively more disgruntled. That's the only way I can describe it. Just. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like scratching on nails the longer you listen to it. Like nails on a chalkboard. Here, you got your plastic you steak. Got your plastic steak. And a, your yeah, angry some... eyes. And some yeah, potato. Guys, and she like shoves it in him and his fucking eyes pop off. Then you got monkey snacks. <laughs> Why would I need monkey snacks? For, for the monkeys. Silly. <laughs> monkeys start so... to <laughs> ah! What else? Um... I love the whole, like, aisle full of Buzz Lightyear's. Yeah. Because it's so funny to me, because no, it's just an aisle full of Buzz Lightyear's. Like, imagine you walked into, like, Smith's Toys Superstores, and you walk in, and you look to your left, and there's a to- a, just a sh- an entire long shelf filled with Spider-Man teddies, or Spider-Man toys. But the exact same one. But the exact same one, just the entire way down. I think I'd have the next aisle is like Barbies. <laughs> I'd have a meltdown over it. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Buzz tries right. to take the new utility <laughs> belt. Yeah, I, lo- I love that. He's like, look at that drip. <laughs> I could I'll, use that. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll take that. <laughs> Go home and show Bo Peep the drip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then he gets in and he's like, oh, for fuck's sake, did I actually act like that? Oh, yeah. it's so good the way he's. And then he's like, "No, you idiot! It's actually just a light bulb." Boop! Ah, you could have killed me. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> I don't. Is it? Is it that like? Is that Buzz Lightyear, the the new one that's like fucking metal? Yeah. Is that? New metal. Did they re-record lines for that, or is that the same lines? Because he feels more psychotic in this. But that could just be because he's next to the real Buzz that we know isn't a psychopath anymore. Yeah, I think it's just that. I think it's just the contrast between them. But it's so yeah. funny still. I love how Buzz is just done with it. He's like, nah, I'm done. Oh. I don't want. I don't want to be remembered for that. I don't want to. <laughs> Talking about the fucking toy shop. Well, you know, they're there walking and fucking hand pulls up in the fucking fucking toy car. And well, right. Be- <laughs> <laughs> Gone. I love and then I... they go <laughs> and they're like hell he's sat in it and then Barb- er, 
uh, Mr. Potato Head's like, I'm a married spud, I'm a married spud, and he gets it and he's like, save it for the single fellas, eh? <laughs> <laughs> he sits in next to the Barbie. It's so good. I love the lads. The lads. Uh, <laughs> the four of them. They're genuinely Thank just you, the man. comedy. Uh, and just the Mr. height of comedy. Because it's oh. like, every squad has these fellas. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear's the one that's like assertive. He's like the alpha, but he's still Woody. Like, he's still a, a lad. Woody's and Woody the is... alpha's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> They're like both alphas, but Woody gets into trouble the most. Yeah, um, and then the the others are just sigmas that just you know S- like ah we'll help. Slinky is like the one that's. Can't get women. He, but he's not. He first one can't get women, and he's like the shy one. And he's not a dick about not getting women. He's just kind of like, oh, He's just like, huh? Don't care. Ham on the exact Ham, Ham wants women, <laughs> but he can't get them. <laughs> you never know. Ham's the funny one that just doesn't have a girlfriend for some reason. And then Rex, Rex is just the mix. Where he can't get women, but he doesn't want women. <laughs> and then Mr. Potato Head has a woman, but doesn't want a woman. <laughs> has a woman, but he wants to play the field. <laughs> I'm a married spud. I'm a married spud, I'm a married spud. I also love how they cause severe car accidents to occur when crossing the road. Yeah, that happens in both of these movies. <laughs> We're going to see if it happens in the third one as well. I don't think it does. No, it definitely doesn't happen in the third one. The amount of chaos they cause. Yeah. They just like completely trash the lost. toy store. And then... um, And then Zerg's like thing is like slightly open the door open. And Zerg just comes alive. <laughs> <laughs> Zerg's like, for fuck's sake. Um... That's just Zerg, and like the entire Zerg thing in this movie is the funniest thing. And I love how it starts the <laughs> video game at the beginning, and it just like evolves to. I love it how oh. it's it's Rex, and he's complaining about how you have to buy a player's guide to understand the game, because that's such a two thousand six joke, or a nineteen ninety nine <laughs> joke. Sorry, where you have to buy a little manual that tells you about the game. Oh. I fucking love when, like, Buzz is, you know, running across the car park and Zerg's there, but he's doing, like, zigzags. He's, like, zigzagging he's on... up to him. I love how the Zerg <laughs> like... toys that they made in real life were genuine dog shit in comparison to Buzz Lightyear's toy. Because that's what it is in the movie. Yeah. Because it's like, everyone wants a Buzz Lightyear toy, but no one wants a Zerg toy, so they're going to make it, like, worse quality. As they said in the amazing movie Jingle Bells, who wants the fucking villain? They want the main man. You mean jingle all the way? Jingle all the way, jingle bells, same thing. I, I don't give someone, a fuck. I saw someone who they were in America. I don't know whereabouts they were, but they saw the lo- what's the action figure from Jingle All the Way all the way called? What? Turbo Man. Turbo Man. They saw like a Turbo Man figure in Walmart or something like that, and I was like, that is sick. And then mom was like, what was your, what was the toy, was it Turbo Man that was in Big Daddy? And I was like, no, man, that was Scuba Steve, right? <laughs> Get your facts straight, ma'am. Then I left. <laughs> uh, Scuba Steve. Scuba Steve is the funniest character in, in history. <laughs> that picture of Adam Sandler in the Scuba Steve outfit, though, is still the funniest thing to me. I don't think I've ever seen that. You've never seen Big Daddy? It's genuinely my favourite Adam Sandler movie. Right, not about Adam Sandler. And you know how much I love Adam Sandler. That's for a different month. Um, That's a different Um, Right. The whole Woody's Roundup thing. Loved it. Yeah, that's so good. Like, interesting to me. Yeah, it really I feel expands. Like that's more interesting. I feel like that's more interesting to me now that like I'm older. Mm. So I feel like mm. as a kid, you're just like, oh, well, why would everyone? Or as a kid, you're like, oh, I wish I could have all that. But as like, and when you're older, you're like, damn, that's actually kind of cool. You just appreciate yeah. it more. 
Yeah. The prospector never been opened. Mint condition. Mint condition. He's mint because he's in the box. <laughs> Jesse is so good. I thought Jesse was bad in this movie. She's not. She's genuinely funny. She is a bit of a cunt at some points. Uh, yeah, but, but she has a she's, reason. She's, she's understand understandably it. a cunt. Yeah. She has like PTSD for being in the box. Yeah. But, um. <laughs> Welcome back. I love how the flashbacks of her, like, getting put under, like, the bed is the most 1999 thing I've ever seen. Because it's mm. like, I feel like I say this about every movie. I'm like, yo, this is the most 2001 film ever. When we watch <laughs> Spider Man. But this is the most, it was the most 1999 thing ever. 99 thing ever. Because it's like going from a horse girl. Just go into like this weird dance party, like music. 60s head. loving. 60s loving gal in 1999. <laughs> she has like groove music or something on her wall. Like she's just a pop girl. She's listening to, I don't know what, movie, what song has come out in 1999. She's listening to Ice Ice Baby by Vanilla Ice. <laughs> also, another thing. Does she not clean underneath her bed? Clearly not. Oh! There's not, a, there's not an under there. there she, she stopped cleaning it once she lost Jesse. She never thought, oh, I'll just look I, under here. Years go by. Years. <laughs> she doesn't even look under it. There's not they a single bit of dust under that bed. She's figured out a life hack. Uh, but once she starts putting more stuff underneath it and stuff, then it starts getting dusty. Oh, yeah. Mad. <laughs> Mad. Disgrace. And then she's like, oh, this is great. And she's like, oh, we're back together again. Oh, this is great. Fuck you. <laughs> Absolutely is... get, gets given to Sharon. Sorry, Nate? Never mind the Eternals. The biggest betrayal in history. Never mind the Eternals. Spoilers. T- no, Thomas, it's on Disney+. Plus. It's free to watch on Disney+. Plus. It's free to watch on Disney+. I know you have to pay for Disney+, Plus, but you don't have to pay extra. <laughs> To watch Eternals, so it's free to watch on Disney Plus. Well, if you really want to get into it, you can. It's now free to just watch exactly other things. <laughs> that was a minute ago. Spoiler. 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 Actually, it's free to watch if you know where you're looking. Yeah. If you <laughs> if you have a VPN you know... and you go to the website <laughs> freemovies.com forward slash virus installer, you can watch free movies. Um. Oh, but it's this movie is so good. That entire thing of like her backstory is really good. Ah. What, is it, what is it that everyone thinks? It's because of the hat, isn't it? The red hat. Yeah, yeah. it's because Andy has the same hat that the mother had. And yeah. a, a woman kind of half looks like Andy's mom from the yeah, back. But I feel like. I feel like that's also because everyone in these movies looks like everyone else. Because there's four <laughs> characters in this movie. Or six. Yeah, there's more people you don't see their face because they're like, fuck. Yeah. I love the clean scene. The witch? The cleaner. And he's cleaning up Woody. Love it's it. So, it's such a funny scene because it's like, why does this man exist? This is not a real job. Or like, this is not a... Well, I guess it's a job. But like... I get... No one has get, a box that looks like that. Oh, I get jealous. Every time I watch it, I'm like, oh, I want one. Because that, that box is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine using that for anything else. And it has, it's so complex. It has all the, like, shelves. It has all the drawers. It has a weird button that, like, pops up. It's Get the fucking coat rack. Coat rack. Coat sand. Does it? Coat sand, yeah. Oh, it does have a hat stand. It has like switches. <laughs> I don't know why I did this. Man, it's man so cool. It has his own like, uh, what's the word? Air spray thing. Like the little pump you. That's yeah. for air. And stuff. Or so... I think it, yeah. It's weird. Yeah, the man's. Man has the exact colour of fucking Woody's boot. Nah. I'm jealous. Do you ever see that ad on TikTok that does that? Where he paint matches oh. stuff? That's mad. Oh. I don't know how someone can do that. Not me and I. I make one color. I'm like, oh, that's nice. Go back to make it the next day. It doesn't work. I'd be sat there if I had that. I'd be like, trying to green. Right. I'll just paint over it. 
That's called paint matching for you. You cunt. <laughs> Jordan in a paint shop. Oh! Oh! How do I paint match my wall? Just paint over it. Simple as. <laughs> you know the way the cleaner is like really old. Yeah, he's the guy from the chess game. Yeah, yeah. What if the reason why he, like he has all that specialist like stuff is because he was there when they were making Woody. Oh. Like, and he was one of the lads that you know worked on it. I feel like he's just yeah. That's a good idea. I like it. I like what you're. I like what you're saying. I like your funny words, Magic Man. <laughs> Bringing that back. That's a good 2021 joke. Was that 2021? Oh. That's all you and Thomas would say. Yes, it is 2021 because it's only on like chemistry. Your funny words, <laughs> Magic Man. They, I like your funny words, Magic Man. You would. No. Nothing bad ever happens to the Kennedys. No, that was in 2020. Apologies. Sorry. Oh, I feel like it, it went over to 2021, though. Oh, definitely. it definitely did. <laughs> it definitely carried on in 2021. My eyes are minty fresh sometimes. My eyes are minty fresh. That's, that's a good thing. Um, I'll see you at the party. And by will, I mean won't. Because you're not invited. I uh, wanted to make sure. Let's all, have se- let's all go swimming in my pool. By <laughs> swimming, I mean sex. <laughs> oh, I love how we went from Toy Story to... What's that show called again? And by go. Clone High. <laughs> Clone High. I had never heard of that show until the fucking memes. Um, but, no, this movie's so good. What else is good about this movie? Prospector. Prospector no. is not, I don't know. I don't like Prospector that much. Uh, I think he's a handy villain. He's a good villain, but I feel like he's not one of those villains that... I'm not going to remember him. No, he's yeah, he's not he's not one of those villains that like I remember, but he's also not one of those villains that is like compelling on a second viewing. Cuz the whole point of the first viewing is that it's a mystery. But once you know the mystery, it just loses its magic. I feel like yeah. some movies don't you don't have that. Toy Story 3. Toy Story 3. Good example. I think because they didn't, they didn't give him really much of a background. They just said it. They didn't really they give us. They don't give him any background, and they don't really. Oh, this box. They don't. But... He doesn't really do anything that's like. That leads up to it. He turns the TV on, and that's it. I'm doing the box I'm shuffle. I'm doing the box step. <laughs> Bullseye is so good in this. Oh. I forgot Bullseye was in this movie. And then I was like, oh my god, that dumb horse. He's so good. Why is the just leading up to Woody? It's Bullseye! I love how attached Bullseye gets to Woody in like two hours. And he's not just like, Bullseye's just sat no. in the corner like, no, no, I'm not happy with this. <laughs> it's like a child, and I love it. <clears throat> the actual Woody's Roundup show, though, is possibly my favourite part of this movie. Because it's mm. so stupid and funny. <laughs> it's so funny to me to watch. Because it looks um, like shit. A t- it was a candle. <laughs> what is it? You're fanning the flames, Jesse. You have to put him out with your head. And he sits on it and then it's like, Ow! <laughs> oh, me nuggets! What else? Uh, um, The critter, she's like, you lay who? The critters come. She tells the critters what's going on. They run back to Woody. They're faster than Woody on Bullseye, them critters. And there's a lot of them there. And they're all the same speed. But anyway, all right. they run back to Woody. And they're like, lad. They're like, lad. Squeak, 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 squeak. And Woody, Woody's like, Woody's like, what are you saying? You're saying Jesse and the Prospector are like locked in a cave. And if I don't get there in time, they're going to blow up. It's like a really long sentence that he gets. And it just slowly zooms in on Woody's face. And it's the funniest scene in the movie. And then the rabbit just goes, yep. Yep, and then he's like, well, ride like the wind, Bullseye. And then he just like, you know, click, 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 click. click. I don't know if you've ever seen the video of the Viper. Um, it's about him talk. I, I think it's him talking about the plowing. And he's like, drive this fucker to Carlo. Don't stop once. <laughs> is, that, is that the Mitzi Turbo episode? Or is that the uh, plowing episode? 
I think that's just something you dreamed I saw one time. <laughs> Drive this fucking a car though, and you know, wouldn't stop once. The Missy Turbo Yo. episode, I actually sat and watched. That's the only episode of that I've watched, and it's genuinely the funniest thing I've ever seen. I'm scared to watch any other episode of it in case it's not as funny. <laughs> Could we do the Hardy Books movie? The Hardy Books movie? <laughs> I have to watch the yeah, show. We'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it. <laughs> we'll do it one year. Oh. You're also- French toast. I don't know his surname. The Salmon, <laughs> Eddie Durkin, Buzz, and the Viper. You were grand. Wow. Also, you know the way they, they're making a... What, the Lightyear film is supposed to be, like, the film that Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. So, are they going to make a Woody's Roundup, like, TV show? I would love that. Thomas has said this to me before, but I would actually love to actually watch that. What? Yeah, now that I know that it was a show thing, maybe yeah. then they'd make that. And maybe the movie starts, uh, like, maybe make it a movie or whatever, but the show starts where the first one ended, because it's a reboot. Or, like, yeah. a continuation. That'd be cool. That'd be really good. I I, I think I'm probably going to make Woody's Roundup. Like, that theme is, like, my ringtone. It's so good. <laughs> Just, oh, hello, Mr. Woody's Roundup. Come on, time to play. I don't remember that. What? <laughs> yeah. Well, um, yeah, that was cool. The twist prospector, that was all right. Uh, l- love the airport scene. The airport scene is so funny. I love how yeah. she, there's like a little kid and she's like, like a puppy, and it's like just going, rawr, 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 and it scares oh, her away. <laughs> <laughs> scares the shit out of her. Um, Slink reminds me of Bruno. Oh. I don't know why. Uh, what? There's. The prospector being put on with Barbie, and she's like, "Hi, I'm Barbie," and you're like, "Oh, fuck's sake!" What is it? Uh, and then she her t- name is an artist, and he's like, "Oh no!" And then he then she turns around, and you see all the paint on one yeah, side. Yeah, that's such a good. That's so good. There's a lot less physical comedy in this movie. Yeah, but I think when it's done, it's done well. Oh yeah. Oh, we need to use it. How will we break it? We'll use your head. Use your head. But I don't, but I don't want to use my head. I love the out, like the fake deleted scene at the end where it doesn't work. <laughs> they just plow into the cage, or into the vent. Sorry. Um, and then it's a delayed ow. Yeah. What else? Ow. The music in this one is so much better. I said it you... right before we started. Hey. I know we said it. I said it before we started, but it's so much better. But that's yeah. just because Randy Newman sings once in this. <laughs> oh. Go then, you know, it's all happily ever after. Both Buzz and Woody both got bitches now. I love... Oh, we asked a question last week. And that was, when do the aliens get to Andy's <laughs> house? And it's this movie. <laughs> I forgot they were in this movie. Same. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. But yeah. They're, the, they're like... I'm the alien now. Because <laughs> what is okay. it? They're like, touch the stick of power. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Oh, I, I love how... I love that entire scene of them driving the pizza, pu- the pizza truck. Yeah. Grand. Um, what else is that? Um, uh, Buzz. Trying to flirt with Jesse. Oh, you're a very respectable young cowgirl. Um, he gets a he, get, he gets a boner in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Buzz gets hard. <laughs> His wings <laughs> pop. What is it? She does the thing that he always does, where she like flings around the room, and then he's yeah. he he gets a boner, and then he's like, oh lord. <laughs> then she's just like, aren't you the greatest little spaceman? <laughs> What a what a woman! Get you a Jesse, hey. Thomas. Get you a then, wait. And <laughs> so now Woody and Bo Peep, and now it's Buzz and Jet uh, and Jesse. Jesse. What about poor Slinky and Ham? <laughs> <laughs> what about the boys? <laughs> the you boys can't break think. the boys up. <laughs> uh, Mr. Potato, he's fine. He's already happily. Ma- he now has three kids. Um, <laughs> oh, he's married. 
the lads. Uh, Logan. They adopted the aliens. Why is Bo Peep not in the third movie? Have you not seen oh. her at Toy Story 4? She got sold. I... Molly's too big. Oh, right, yeah. Ah, but like... Oh, yeah, because she's not like a toy. She's like a nightstand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that now. I yeah, haven't watched I Toy Story 4 since it came out, like... So I've I've yeah. blocked out most of that movie. Oh, have I? Oh, but I saw it in two days. Yeah, I saw it once. Yeah. I think, so like... I can't wait for? The duck and the rabbit from that movie. <laughs> I don't remember who plays them, but they're the funniest thing. Is it not I key? never watched it. It's Keegan-Michael Key and the other one. Theo. Yeah. Yeah. It's those two. It is those two. And also, this... spoilers for um, the start of Toy Story 3. Thanks, Neve. Toy Story 4. 3 <laughs> as well. Oh, well, you've seen 3, so you can't say spoilers. Oh. But for the people at home. Oh, for the people at home who haven't watched a 13 year old film. Yeah, yeah. Toy Story 3 came out in 2009. Uh, my brother was born. Makes me feel old. Anyway, yeah, that's Toy Story. Yeah, that's Toy Story. That was Toy and Story it's a, too. It's, it's a Thomas summary, but it's probably been quicker. Thomas, do a quick summary just to end us off. Right, so we start the movie off. Uh, Buzz Lightyear, oh, he's on a planet. Wait, I want to say something before ending else. Joan Cusack plays Jesse, the fucking principal from School of Rock. What else is she in? Because I haven't seen that. Oh, she's in... Joan Cusack sounds um, pretty familiar. She's in Adam's Family. She's in Adam Family Values. And oh, shit, my phone's on 3%. Oh. One second. Oh. Joan Cusack. I don't think she's in a lot of things, but when I, when I see her... Joan Cusack. Adam's Family, School of Rock, Toy Story 2, Shameless, um, Cloud, that one film on Netflix about Santi, 16 Candles, Runaway Brian. You're always on about 16 Candles, aren't you? Like no, two. I've never seen it. Oh, I've heard She's Chicken Little. Oh my, that's all you had to say, Neve. I've seen <laughs> Chicken Little. I have as well. Great film. I I saw it like a month ago. It's actually not that good, apparently. The sky is falling. We talking about what now? Apparently, Chicken Little is not that good. We talking about what now? Shut up, Tom. Those who know Chicken Little will know what I just said. What are we talking the... about? Oh, I get it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Falling. What up, Jack? Anyway, Thomas, go on your s- summary. Right, so we start to kill him off. Uh, it's in space. Uh, Buzz lands on a planet. Uh, he thinks there's no life. Uh, robots. Uh, he runs. He absolutely obliterates all of our robots. Like a Chad. Shoots a laser. Um, he lands down. Camera spots him. He's like, shit. He falls down into a pit. He runs around, explores. He's glow in the dark. Um, then he finally finds the boss. He, he does some backflip shit. But, you know, Zerg, he's just like, nah. Zaps him. He's dead. Turns out it's a video game. Rex is playing, but he can't do it because his arms are too short because he's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Woody is busy looking for his hat, can't find the hat. Slinky finds the hat, but uh, Bo Peep's like, we ain't finding no hat. He's just like, ah, shit. Oh, and my camera's fucked. Anyway, Slinky's just like... Sorry. Slinky's like, oh, uh, I, fe- I have good news, bad news. What? Hat. Yay, dog. Oh! Dog attacks, uh, but he's like, oh no, uh, reach for the skies. Turns out the dog's nice. Um, when he gets his hat, he's ready to go. And he's just like, uh, then Andy comes in. His mom's like, five more minutes. And he's like, no problem. Sets up something that should have taken him five minutes just to set up. All those toy soldiers. What the fuck? I don't understand. But we'll continue onwards. Andy plays, rips Woody's arm. What the fuck? Woody's basically a handicap now. Right? He's just like, oh no, what am I supposed to do now? Mom's like, ah, shelf it. 
uh, apparently being shelved is just like being put in prison. I don't know. Like, it's basically on like death you, row. you have ca- a cancer. Yeah. Off you go. <laughs> You've been let go of your job. What are you just like, ah, oh, shit. He's on the right. dole up there. And Andy goes to cowboy camp. Then it cuts. <laughs> and he's returned back from cowboy camp. Woo, it's early. What are you just like, let's go. And he's like, yo, let's hit. Oh, you, you're broken. Fucks him onto the ground. Woody goes into the void made out of cards. Woody gets horribly dragged that down by all the so arm, arm pieces. That oh. scene genuinely terrified me as a kid. I'm not terrified. Yeah. I was like, as a kid, I was like, I don't like this. This is weird. <laughs> Woody, get out of here. You'll be grand. Yeah. And Woody wakes up. <gasps> Woody's just like, oh. and then he leans back. There's a squeak. He finds squeakers. He thought he went was still getting fixed. Nope. He was just been there the entire time. And his mom lied to calm him down. Squeaks is dying of Thomas, you're going to have to hurry this up. Sorry. Yard sale. Squeaks has to take Woody to the rescue. Everybody thinks Woody's killing himself. Turns out, not. Uh, Woody gets stolen by Big Al. Big Al from Book Book Books um, dealership of toys. Anyway, Big Al takes him to the place. The boys are just like, nah, let's get him. They go. They're on a little adventure. They go to the toy store because they think it's there. But Al's actually across the road in his hotel. Al's putting him up for the collection. Woody meets people from his TV show days. Woody's roundup. Woody's just like, oh, I, I, I want to go back. They're like, no, that's sad backstory. Woody's like, oh, okay, I'll stay. And he's like, yay. Uh, the toys, they're still looking for Woody. Buzz goes into Buzz Lightyear uh, uh, alleyway. Fucking One more Buzz. minute. Right, right. There's a utility belt. Buzz is like, yeah. Turns out Buzz gets beat up, put in tape. Other Buzz takes his place. They go to the hotel. Other Buzz climbs elevator shaft. Cause and the, it's goofy like everything. Captain America, I don't know. Uh, they storm in. They absolutely kick the shite of the other toys. Woody's like, nah, I'm fine. And she's like, okay, they go. And then Big Al comes in. Then it turns out Prospector's bad. Locks up. And they fucking go to the airport. Buzz and the stuff. Oh shit, we have to get to the airport. But how? They find a rocket. Fucking car. They steal it. Grand Theft Auto turns into Grand Theft Auto. They drive down to the airport. They pull up. Right. They get into the dog cage. Slinky's just like, bark, bark to the child. Scares the child. They go into the baggage area. They're like, all right, we'll just find the bag. There's a thousand bags. They find two that look the exact same. They split up. Prospector's in one. Camera in the other. Uh, they have a fight with Prospector. They use flash photography to defeat him. Put him in the Barbie doll. Barbie doll says, this is going to be great. And then it turns out the Barbie doll is heavily disfigured because the person likes painting on them. Uh, then, uh, but Jesse's still left behind in the back. They go, they get on the plane. All hope is lost because the plane starts to take off. But then they're like, wait, button, drop. Woody does some Indiana Jones level of stuff. He swings. They're, everybody's happy. They go home. Uh, everybody's having great times, great times. Uh, Bo Peep and Woody reunited. Everybody's happy. Buzz and Jesse. They get together. Everybody's got bitches except for the main boys, except Mr. Potato Head. He's now stuck with three kids because of the aliens, which were in the car, if you paid attention. But anyway, everybody was just like, yeah, let's do this. And then Squeak's just like, hey, I got my squeak back. And he's like, yay, I'm going to sing You Got a Friend in Me, apparently better than the original in Jordan's opinion, which is wrong. Anyway, it's cuts the credits. Though. Everybody's it's happy. It's good, though. Like, in all fairness, uh, I, I can't fault me there. It's good, though. That's it. That's just it. Thank you, Thomas. Thomas, you must be after breath. He said buzz about five times in like two seconds. He was like, buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> oh. right. And then, I love my favorite part of the summary. And then, the prospector turned bad. <laughs> prospector, bad. No, my favorite part is he goes, it was, um, Book, book, book. Toy dealership. Al. Anyway, I don't. He couldn't remember the name for Al's toy barn, so he said, oh, and then they're book, book, book. Toy dealership. Al's in his hotel, not his apartment. He's in his hotel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It was so funny. 
<laughs> this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give Thomas five minutes to explain the whole movie from now on. Instead of his 15 minute reviews. Wasn't there, a, was there an 18 minute one for Spider-Man 2? Yeah. Oh, that was good. Thomas has a headache after doing all that. Thomas, you should really script these. So that all you have to do is read them off. Oh, it's so much better. True. It's so annoying. It's so much better for seeing Thomas under pressure. Do you know what's even funnier? Is that Thomas is like, I'm not going to watch the movie. I'm going to watch a recap of the movie. <laughs> and then we end up recording a day later anyway. So that was fine. Uh, but Thomas joined me. I was in a Discord call yesterday with some of the with someone else. I don't remember who. But Thomas joins and goes, Jordan, have you watched Toy Story two yet? I was like, Yeah, I watched it like an hour ago. And he was like, No, you said you didn't. I did. I said I did watch it. And then you were like, No, no. you didn't. And I was like, I fucking did. <laughs> you didn't. No, that was I'm today. talking about the second Yesterday. time, Thomas. Oh, oh, was it today? Yeah, it was today. You were oh, telling right, me. All right, all right, all right. Sorry. It was yesterday that I asked if you did as well. You said no. You watched it last night. Yeah, I did watch it. I watched it like an hour after you asked me yesterday. Then I forgot to say it to you. I think we can end it there then. Just over yeah. an hour into it. Thomas is somewhere it took four to five minutes, I think. Six minutes, maybe. It took oh, almost six minutes. I gave him another minute. Anyway, um, I hope everyone's 2022 is going well, since we're two weeks in. Um, but other than that, yeah. Do you use, I don't remember if I asked you this. Did you use make resolutions? I just want to ask this at you the did. end. Hmm? I said journal, journal, uh, journaling. You started journaling. Thomas, you didn't do anything, wasn't it? No, you wanted no, to lose no. weight, Thomas. Yeah, but it wasn't a resolution. Okay. Neve, how's your? Is there? Have you kept up with your resolution? I have. Good. Not. I have. Um, Not. I right. think I don't remember if I said it. Oh whoa! I don't remember if I said it in the episode. I definitely said it to Neve in, like off camera anyway. That I want to start. Oh. I want to start taking. Yeah, we're friends outside of the show. Um, <laughs> I called you I my colleague people. earlier instead of my friend. <laughs> But, um, I hate them both. <laughs> Thomas, we already hate me. What was that? I was talking to Neve about it. I wasn't talking to Thomas about it because me and Thomas don't like each other. It's all an act, <laughs> it's all an act on this podcast. But, um, yeah, I fucking hate him. He's a con. <laughs> well, I was, I, my New Year's resolution this year is to take less screenshots of random shit I don't need and take more photos of yeah. things that I'll remember. Yeah. So quit, quit taking pictures of me and Snap when I'm shirtless. <laughs> no, I won't. Stop sending me pictures of you shirtless going... I'm in bed! Stop making weird faces. Stop making <laughs> sexual faces at me then. This does not need I to be don't. a podcast. <laughs> I just smile. <laughs> oh. No, they don't count. They're friends. Those are friends, Green Jones. They're, they they're good memories, Thomas. That's what that's what I'm trying to take photos of. Not every single time. It's not every time. Uh, just two irresistible, you know. Next exactly. week we're gonna do Toy Story Three. Yeah. And then we're gonna do four, and that round out oh, January. Big purple bastard. <laughs> oh, speaking of. You know the way we were talking about how we might have had like toys, like from Toy Story. Yes. In real life. Right, you know that uh, that wrestler dog, uh, that wrestler guy who's holding o- o- over the door yeah, with the yeah. soldier. Yeah, I had him. Ah, I don't know why I had him. <laughs> him. I love the joke in this movie. Just before we finish up, there's a joke in this movie where they're in Al's office and they go up to the two boxers. And yeah. Like, Faye, fellas, have you seen a sheriff doll? And one of them's like, no, I, I have not. I get in the calmest voice ever. And the other one's like, he wasn't talking to you, idiot. He was talking to me. And then they just punch the <laughs> shit out of each other. That's me. Okay. Whatever you say. Yeah. I'm aggressive. I shout. I shout. 
Anyway, I think we should end it there. Yeah. This is a good I movie. Should... I'm gonna oh, give this. Yeah. I'm gonna give this a nine out of ten. I think I gave the last one a seven or an eight. I think I'm gonna give it just an eight point five. I'm going decimals this time, lads. New Year's resolution. I'm gonna st- sometimes do decimals. <laughs> Thomas? I'll give this one a big fat nine. <laughs> a big round <laughs> nine. <laughs> big nice for nine. All the nines. Nine. Yeah. I've been Jordan. I've been Nave. And I've been Thomas. Join us back here. Same goose channel. Same goose time. Good luck, lads. Good luck. <laughs>